KG and Ringy Quick Hitter. Mississippi Mud. We found some cool stuff last week in Mississippi, and half of it was because KG brought his A-game and spotted some unnatural foliage with his keen eye amongst the trees while exploring a 400-acre forest. So anyway, we were out with our friends Lance, Coco, Deanna, and her boyfriend, some guy that played football in high school or something, I think. I can't remember his name. But anyway, after finding a few nice Civil War era relics in one area, KG called us over to some high ground about a half mile away that had a ton of iron signals and some weird plants that were probably part of a garden or tended yard at one time. They just didn't look like a natural part of the landscape. So, yeah, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you come across stuff like this, stick around it's probably an old house site after he pulled up a half dollar size disc and some square nails we knew we were on an old homestead kind of site it was not easy pickings by any means but despite the trash we were able to sniff out a few good targets including the first old coin i really honestly don't know what this is but it's just a super steady signal. You and, saw something. And, and I saw the edge of roundness. <laughs> and, and it had like a nickish hue to it. Ooh. Yeah. I know I saw, like, definitely saw something round. Hi, hey, Lance. What do you say, Cage? Oh, oh, there. Oh, I see it. There it is, yeah. Yeah, that's the size Doesn't of that a look like a coin? Yeah, I think I that think is. I think it's a coin. That's a stinking Lincoln. Probably a brand new one. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's probably brand new. Man, oh, it's a V. It's a V. v? That's, That's awesome. A v yeah. <laughs> see if you can see the date. Away. What does the date look like? It looks like 1901. 122 years old. 123 now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After I got home, cleaned it, and rechecked the date, I realized it was actually a 1907 instead of a 1901. Either way, an awesome little piece of history. After that, between the usual old shotgun shell ends, I got the remains of this old pin, which was originally a circle with a five-pointed star. If you look close enough, a couple of the points are still visible. Could have been an old sheriff's or marshal's badge. You never know. It's really heavy brass or copper, so I don't think it was a toy. Could have been a brooch, I guess. And then Cage found a burn pit that had melted glass in it and this weird blob set off his AT Max. He almost chucked it in the bin, but changed his mind at the last second and threw it to me for further examination. After careful processing back in the lab with, yep, a hammer and a flathead screwdriver, I was able to separate an old turn-of-the-century brooch from the blobification. I tumbled it for a while in soft media, but it's really too fragile to do much more with it. You could see the intricate design, though. Pretty cool find. Ornateness in the pock for KG. Later on, I got a nice mid-tone that eventually would turn out to be yet another shotgun shell. And as Deanna made her way over to take a listen, she got a tone of her own. A high tone. Turned out to be just a smashed beer can near the surface. And as I kicked it out of the way, she stepped back and swung her detector to the right, and it immediately went off again. This time with a high, clean tone. It was only the second coin at that site, and it topped my 1907 Nick. 1904 Barber Dime. Always amazing to see silver come out of the dirt. Give me some. Yeah. She then proceeded to unearth this amazingly rare zipper, probably the best find I've seen in years, a museum piece for sure. I had a pretty good story for that find, one that even Uncle Rube would have been proud of, but sadly, it failed to make the final cut. After digging a few more targets, we called it a day and headed in for some refreshing carbonated beverages with our sparse but awesome finds. Great trip with some awesome people. KG caught some fish, I saw some birds, and we even caught a baseball game that saw Southern Miss dominate in a contest featuring the dual sport phenom Periante Norsworthy, who many say will be the next Bo Jackson. Thanks to everyone for the hospitality. Go Hawk, I mean, uh, Golden Eagles. SMTTT, y'all. Ring ye out. Quick hitter. We're talking seven, eight pounder <laughs> Mississippi monster. Big Bears fan. Yeah. <laughs> Real big. Go, go Bears. Go Bears. <laughs>